Toledo to get people here. Well, they made it. They're here to support the Rockets. Tip controlled by the Wolverines. We are underway. All right, Ice, what do you want to see out of the gate from both these teams? Well, the start is going to be extremely important for both teams, but just taking care of the basketball, getting the shot that you want every time down the floor. And then also, Alex, it's loud in here. I think we're almost having a sellout crowd. We'll get the number to you later, but communication is going to be of importance as well. Between you and me as well. Shot missed by Hanson. And here comes Toledo's first possession of the game again. Toledo, 29 wins the last couple of seasons. You get a shot from the outside, missed. And you know, this Toledo team, so much experience coming back. The team that went to the semifinals of the MAC tournament a couple of years ago, did not get an at-large bid. End up bringing all those pieces back last year, ended up winning the MAC tournament title, back-to-back -back regular season titles in the MAC. Nice backdoor cut and a nice finish there. Michigan does such a good job of moving without the basketball, so you can't draw all your attention to the ball. You have to keep your head on the swivel as a defender. Up top, this is Luckett. Banks it in! Back to the Wolverines. But what a feed there from Luckett. This is Hobbs on the take. Goes up with it and draws the foul. Hobbs, a little over eight and a half per game. Wire, Garcia. She'll launch from out there. Miss off the back of the... This is Felia. Little runner in the lane. Off the mark. Offensive rebound. Knocked out of her hands. All even up at three. Teams still feeling each other out. Nice drive there. Hannah Novorowski has checked in for Toledo. She missed all of last season with an injury, so they actually got a, a little bit deeper. She was the sixth player of the year in the MAC two seasons ago, and now they get her back. And we had an offensive foul called against Michigan. Overs for the Wolverines. This used to be an area of emphasis for them taking care of the basketball. In their last game versus Harvard, 11 turnovers in the first half. Pass into the corner, a little bit off the mark. On the ticket, off the window, count the basket and the foul. She's experienced with Wired throughout her five years of being a part of this program. To accomplish both of those feats. On the drive, and we're going to whistle. No! Rejected. Controlling the tempo is going to be key for them. They've got to make sure that they score in transition. Another miss for Michigan. A lot of success here for Toledo, and they get the community sport behind them. Here's Wire. McCowitz. Wire directing traffic now with 10 on the shot clock. Lock it. On the drive. Here comes the double. Quick kick out. Wired for three. Got it. She's got five here in the first. And this is what makes Q Lockett so dangerous, is the way in which she's able to penetrate those gaps and then find open teammates and wired, ready to knock it down, top of the key. The 10-1 to 1 run right now for the Rockets. Camp Trader to the baseline. Lost it out of bounds. Back to the Rockets. You know, we talk about Lockett's ability to score, but she's also a player that can really distribute. Averaging three assists per contest. Outside again, another three. Starting to pour it on. Emmy Reinop from downtown. The transfer from Rhode Island. Making an impact. On the drive and... So, trying to silence the finishing through contact and she brings that spark for them offensively and defensively off the bench and then on the wing right here in Lockett and Philia I mean two of the best players for both teams these two matchups are going to be key here today inbounds here to Hobbs lost the handle has it taken away here come the Rockets in transition and to get those easy looks in transition, whether it's a quick two points or whether you're getting to the free throw line. From Kira Goss. 
5'9", senior from Indianapolis. For Toledo, was through her defense, through her activity. Michigan trying to find some offense, and they get some there. Getting downhill. Trying to work it inside. And a miss there from Jessica Cook. Here come the Wolverines. Cameron Williams off the window and in. Well, Toledo, a team that has multiple bigs, but they don't have true size. This is off the front iron. Up top. Three-pointer, Elisa Brick. Another 1,000-point scorer. That's a transfer for Coach barnes -Arico. All Mac first team last year. This inside. Offensive rebound, Garcia. Puts it back up off the mark. One second to go in the period. They won't get a shot off, and that's going to do it for the first quarter of play here in Toledo. A hot start from the Rockets, but the Wolverines chipped back in. It's a Toledo with nine points off of turnovers. And so Michigan right now, get a shot up every time down the floor. Really look to set good screens. Be sure of your passes and control this game with just getting a shot up every time down the floor. Fire thought about it. Drew some contact there. Here comes the double. Look up top. And we'll reset here with Wire. Lock it. With a quick out. Wired pulls up. Got it to go. Forcing the Wolverines to rotate. And so Michigan now late on the rotations. And Wire just doing a great job of being deceptive and being patient. Wired's been all Mac the last two seasons, preseason, second team this year. And a shot inside. Ten points in the paint right now for Michigan. They need to continue to get high percentage looks at the basket. And we knew that was going to be something they were going to try to do a lot of because of their size and length. Block it with seven on the shot clock. She'll go around the defender, launches for three, bakes in another one! Shot from the outside, trying to respond with a three. Camp Schrader misses. Offensive rebound inside Williams. They wanted to travel, didn't get it. Another miss. This is Goss. Block it. Splits two defenders, a floater. Got it to go. Starting to heat up a bit. Scoring on back to back possession. She's got eight. Ready, and then eight points off of those two triples in that layup. Feeling it offensively. Wired. Hand off to Lockett. She'll pull up from the side of the circle. She got another one. Three straight trips down the floor. Lockett put to a nice start, shooting 53% from the field. They haven't played in 11 days. But Coach Collip, ahead of this matchup, decided to do an inner squad practice scrimmage against the men's players. And as Lockett does a great job of cutting off the ball. In the, from the first player of the year. We talked with Trisha Cullop. She was talking about yet another year of eligibility. Well, sometimes you say, oh, I'm going to go play somewhere else for my final year. She jokingly called Coach Cullop saying, I'm transferring. On she April said, Fools. on April Fool's, saying, you know, Coach, I had a great career here, but I want to try somewhere else. Had her completely going as we get a miss inside until she finally said, April Fool's, Coach, I'm coming back. Just shows you the show the personality that Lockett has as we get a tie up near center court. We'll call what they're doing. Yeah, it's a credit to just the program that Coach Collip has built here and the buy in. I mean, you're absolutely right. We see mid major players all the time have successful careers and then transfer to Power Five schools and really trying to test their ability at the highest level. And huge block there. Oh my, earlier today, but being big in the post. 9-0 run here for Toledo. Block it. Decides to pull up. Misses a bit short. And it goes out of play. 5.36 to go until halftime. 
you know, this Michigan team, you know, we talk about what the Rockets are doing defensively. And Michigan, one of the best defensive teams in the country right now. Right now, Toledo doing what they want. We get another miss from the outside, this time for Hanson. Well, Toledo has done a great job of controlling the tempo of this game, pushing the pace. I mean, look how Lockett is getting downhill. The offensive rebound and the putback. Novoroski, that is her job. Get in the game, be on the boards, be big in the paint. She's doing a really good job here in the second quarter. Everything just over four rebounds per game. Nice put back there. And then on the other side on defense. Philia's got it back. Drives it this time. Double comes late. Off balance shot. Another miss for the Wolverines. Another shot in the corner. Got it. Emmy Rinnott from downtown. The transfer from Rhode Island and a bad pass there. Billy stuck. Quick outlet to Hanson. Leaving it back. Brett puts it in. What a shot. Got a really nice quick trigger three as Goss gets to the basket. Not able to finish the easy one. Brett quickly in transition. Hansen pulls up from 15. Got it. Granat in the corner. Misses, and Hansen's got it for Michigan. Love the play call there out of the timeout, though, for Coach Collip. Going right back to Granat, who just knocked down a three. Offensive rebound for the Wolverines. Trying to get it inside. Bad pass. As Wired... Jumps the entry, kick out, three. For this team, the ball movement going from side to side. Right now, it's a lot of stagnant dribbling. It's a lot of waiting for someone to post up. I think they need to move the ball a little bit more and get some off-ball action. Another offense. Less than 19%. Toledo, 7 of 13. It's 54%. Beautiful pass inside. Lock it. Gets it into Nan. It'd be more movement offensively for Michigan. Four on the shot clock. Aren't able to get a shot up. Another turnover for the Wolverines. Here's Lockett in transition, trying to go baseline, and we get a blocking foul. You can get two people on the ball. Then they're willing passers. They see the next play, and they're getting any to change up the defense and to mix up the looks that they're seeing. Lockett, two for two. But 94 feet away from your basket, she may have wanted to let that one go. Good time ticking down as well. A steal! And they blow the whistle saying she stepped on the sideline out of bounds. Making her presence known offensively and defensively. Lauren Hansen's got a bill, just let the time tick down and go into the locker room. And I bet Kim Barnes Mariko is not going to be happy in the halftime speech. Toledo with the most and coach Barnes Rico looking to do her work and make some adjustments here in the third quarter I would think that immediately it would start with the defensive intensity looking inside and immediately drawn for that championship squad of Toledo Michigan, we mentioned, struggling offensively in that first half. Just 27% shooting. What needs to change there for the Wolverines? First, taking care of the basketball. But then offensively, just more ball and player movement. I really thought that their offense was very stagnant in the first half. This is a good look for them. To look to get more high percentage looks, continuing to score in the paint. That's just the second made field goal for Filia. She's got just four points. Filia, the leading scorer for this Wolverines team, averaging... Just over 15 per game with another bucket on this end of the floor for Toledo. How fun is Wired to watch play? Yeah. I mean, she just seems like she's having fun out there. She's taking advantage, picking her spots well on the court of when to get the ball to her teammates and then when also to be aggressive and put the ball in the basket. Hobbs off the screen, up top of the key. Nice shot. Well, you asked me what more I thought the Wolverines could do. And honestly, between Hobbs and Hanson, those two players need to do more offensively for this team. They have the capabilities of putting up double figures day in and day out. They need to look to be more aggressive and find their shots. Working it inside to Cook. Feel you. Trying to split two defenders. Trying to draw a foul. A little too strong off of the glass. Back to the Rockets. Oh, 
20-point lead for Toledo. Kiragas. Nine on the shot clock. This is Lockett. Goss. Swing around. Mikanowicz. Misses. Guard position almost in double figures and a few steal a few assists as well. Feel you. Drawing the foul, getting it to go. Inside hand. She used that inside hand to keep the defense away and draw the foul, and she finishes the play. Well, I really dry like the drive and the step through there from Philia, but Wolverines want to get back into this game. They've got to find a way to get offensive rebounds, but does it really matter that they were going to be on national TV and not put on one of the best performances of the season? I would like to see the Wolverines try to get some early offense. Can they get a good shot within the first six to eight seconds of the shot clock? I felt like the last couple of possessions, they have missed some open players running the floor. Feel you. Got it. Wolverines are four of six here in this third quarter. Yeah, but right now for the Wolverines, it seems like it's just Felia, the one that is scoring and consistently bringing something offensively. Boy, they love the bank shot. I don't think I've ever seen so many made threes off a of bank in my seven years of college basketball that I played. Oh, my goodness. We're not with nine. Felia. And what the Rockets have done here lately over the last pair of games, remember they've been on an 11-day layoff here. But going back to that international trip, you see so many teams do this. And Coach Cullip said, you know, usually we go to a place where we have an international player. We go visit their home country. He said, this time we let the team vote, and they decided to go to Greece. They had a great time. Well, I spent six months in Greece playing overseas and loved every second of it. I mean, there's not enough you can say about the culture, the food, and just the different sites, especially spending time in Athens. I mean, that is just a historical landmark. Is Michigan able to draw... Hobbs trying to go north to south, gets stopped. Kick out to Brett. Good entry into Williams. So bring it back out to the three. Here comes the double, just trying to get rid of it. Flashing inside the lane was Brett. They're up right now by a good margin, so free throws don't matter, but it's something they have to lock into. Wins against Aston Villa right here on CBS Sports Network. A miss on the free throw line and an offensive rebound. It was really kind of a, a signature win, as any win over a ranked team would be for a mid-major program. But it really showed that this Rockets team was ready to take it to another level after being out in the conference semis the year before and ended up making it to the NCAA tournament. Figure out a way to beat you, and they make it very tough. And it's seeming like for the Wolverines that that's what the Rockets are. They have their number. They have controlled every second of this game and have looked very comfortable here at home. Morgan Evans, another offensive foul. Well, but even that, Alex, is a communication issue for this right. team, right? If someone is going to double the ball, whoever is leaving has to communicate and say, hey, watch the double, right? See it coming so your teammate can expect it. So on some of these, it seems like the Wolverines aren't talking to each other. They're not expecting the double, and then they're committing that foul. And there were some stages in shoot-around today where she said, you need to talk. In, in these areas of the game defensively, you need to talk. She told us that the biggest improvement for this team defensively is finding their voice right now. And I think this is a game where you can see it. In the corner with the shot clock winding. Another one from downtown. Mikanowicz gets it to go. Making noise on the other end. Offensive foul. The Rockets are soaring right now. Corner pocket three. Knocked down from McConaughey. And on the other end, it's Wired. Sacrificing her body for the team. Another turnover for the Wolverines. 15 turnovers on the game for Michigan. Wired inside. Lost her defender. Fall away in the lane. Got it to go. Wired's got 14. On the other side, taking it straight to the bucket. There is Filia as the clock winds down. And Toledo putting on a show for the home fans. Job sharing the ball as well down the stretch. 14 assists for this team. 
the one number that I just am marveled at right now. There have been 16 Michigan turnovers. As we get a foul here, scoring for a team that had the best. We asked Coach Collett before the game where we thought her team had the advantage, and she said, in our quickness. She said, Michigan is tall, and they're long, and they're big, but we feel like we can win the foot speed fight. And that's what they've done. They've made it look easy. That's a beautiful. Quickly ahead to Hobbs, trying to dump it inside. Coming out of nowhere to make a play on it was Goss. And we get a whistle. I think defense is one of those areas that when you're in the non-conference is what gets challenged the most, is how can you defend different teams that have different styles of play and Toledo has put together just a really complete performance offensively. They've had scoring inside the paint and had really good activity getting downhill. Risha Lockett to the free throw line here, drawing the foul from Taylor Williams. She thought she blocked the shot. She off to a nice hot start, then started finding more of the teammates involved. Lead back to 20 for Toledo. Another oh, travel here. Felt right the entire game. Something has just felt off about their chemistry and their communication. They seemed a bit sped up. It almost seems like they're not adjusted to the pace at which the game is being played. Oh, oh. my goodness. A spectacular move there. Cornisha Lockett. She's got 20. Outside, it's Hansen for three. Off the back. Lockett's got the long rebound. Here she comes. Well, I heard thought about it. The crowd wanted it. <laughs> back to Lockett. And they'll skip it over. Konowitz, reverse layup. He's like, I want to play too, Lisa. Listen, Toledo showing us their layup package right now. I'm feeling like I'm watching a Kyrie Irving mixtape just featuring Toledo women's basketball. I feel like this entire Toledo squad's got this game on the DVR ready to watch it back. Man, we've seen all the tricks out of the magic bag. Look at that. Off the top of the glass, getting it to go. And then McConowitz on the other end. Look at those two steps and the angle, the degree of difficulty to finish that reverse layup. Tough. Yeah, that's my facial expression. That was nasty. <laughs> As Lockett hits the bench, it's a fourth straight game. Crossing the 20-point mark. Noise made on this end. Boy, they are loud here at Savage Arena. Miss there from Taylor Williams. She'll have one more. She is a 57% free throw shooter, and she missed the women's game. basketball at this time. I mean, it is just so much buzz, so much excitement, and I'm really a fan of Toledo. I mean, it's my first time here, first time calling a game here, but the community has showed up and showed out, and there's been a great product on the floor as well. You can see why it's a basketball school. We talked about this earlier, but it is a basketball school here. We're going to whistle on another offensive foul this time because of what they have here. The culture, the support, it's not duplicated. You know, we've, we've been to some spots where they have to try really hard to get folks in the building for both men's and women's basketball. That's not the case here in Toledo. There's a miss on the drive here. Stay on the court. Our players go throughout the stands, and they thank everyone for coming. Attending a lot of Temple women's basketball games. It meant the world to me after a game that a player would come up to me. We'll talk about the game in film when, we, when I go back and take a look at it, because I may have not seen the play correctly. It could have been a bad rotation because of something else. So let's just cool off, let them go thank the fans, and we'll talk about it later. I mean, after games, you're so emotional, and everything seems much bigger than it may be once you take a second and take a breath. And so for this team, it's just, hey, she allows her players to talk to fans. First one, good. Just four points on one of five shooting. Look at five points now. Three of four from the foul line and one field goal, and that's it. And Michigan has struggled offensively. And she's been very quiet. 
Hobbs on the take. They have just looked all kinds of out of sorts tonight. This is a Michigan team that came in 7-1 and one with some pretty good wins to their resume. What comes to mind for me, Alex, is just you can see the experience level of the Rockets. She's like, you know, we have a good league in the map. Teams like Buffalo are in it every year. So they know that they're going to play tough teams in the MAC. So they needed to play tough. And Michigan's got it. Because no one's to come here to play us. And certainly no one's going to come. <laughs> no one's going to be knocking on, on her door, ringing her phone to come play a non-conference game here at Savage. That's going to be tough. Hayden Dykstra has checked in. Three-pointer with the shot clock winding down. Off the mark. Offensive rebound. And Toledo is going to get to run it out here as the Toledo Rockets in front of over 7,000 fans, their largest attended regular season game in program history in their first nationally televised game in the regular season. And they knock off the Wolverines 69-46. to 46.